the bunnies and the bub. I'm so excited to see you for a new season. This season is going to be focusing on Durban dishes. So tell us what you want to see. Tell us what you eat in Durban and tell us what you think is really interesting about Durban. I'm very excited to be focusing on the second largest city in South Africa, which is phenomenal and one of the best places to lay out on the beach. So come along with us as we go on our journey. While we're talking about Durban, we're at a really cool location in Soweto today at Just Badera and it focuses on food, cuisine, entertainment and there's actually a butchery that I'm looking at right across from me and there's a wine cellar as well. Today's dish is something that I'm a little bit nervous about but excited to try. We're going to be doing mohoru and dombolo or tripe and dumplings but to help me I have a very special guest, Chef Daniel and he is the head chef here at Just Vadela. So thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so um, what are we going to start with? The dumplings? Start with the dumplings. Okay, can I help you with anything or do you want to just show me how it goes? Welcome. First of all, we flour inside. Okay, so first we're doing just normal flour? Yeah, normal flour. Okay. Flour. Perfect. Baking powder. Baking powder. Two cups. Okay. Then we do yeast. Okay, and this is for like the flavor. And then we put a little bit of sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. Salt. Perfect. Just. And then what do you eat down below? What? Put box chai in hold. And anything else? Choose from the custard, or you can choose uh, lamb stew, you can choose box chai. So it just goes with like a stew? Yeah, you can choose liver from the kucha. Perfect. It's up to from the custard, yeah. Uh, you can your half. Okay, your and this is just room temperature. Yes, you have a little hot water as well. And hot water. Which we have got over here. I'm very excited to try this. I can see the ready-made ones and they taste and they smell amazing. So I'm very, very excited. Okay, hot water. Hot water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who taught you how to cook? Oh, I teach myself. You taught yourself? I teach myself. Since so when I grow up, I used to bake on the floor, on the floor in the kitchen. Why on the floor? I mean, you put some fat still and you put your food on the floor and bake. And now you're the head chef of the room. No, no. <laughs> um, okay, so we're just going to mix this and then do we bake it in this? Yes, we will. So there's a little ramekin yes. that has butter in yeah. just so that we can see the shape. Okay. okay. You can butter. see the chef, the hot water does not phase it. Butter. It's not. It's a very wet dough. Yeah. It's not like bread, it's pretty wet. So the problem is this, you're going to wait it for the two minutes to raise and then you put it inside. Okay. You decide that it's going to be measured just two minutes. And then this goes in the oven. When it comes, it's good to have it in the pot. Yeah, using this Dombolo or the dumpling is baking. We're gonna do the mokoru slash tripe. What tripe is this? Beef, beef tripe. Beef tripe. Okay, cool. So what are we gonna do to prepare it? Uh, we do pot tripe. We will first have cooked it before we cut. Okay. We first have cooked it to clean it first before we cut. And then we use onion. We chop onion. Okay. Chop onion. onion. Okay. And that's small part. I know a lot of people are nervous about tripe. They don't know what it tastes like. Like even the, the beef, beef, beef pan. Some people they don't like it. And it's very nice when it's because it's half cooked now, and then you put it in the grill as well. It has fat on its own, so okay. you're just gonna put it inside and you put it on the grill. If it needs more, little bit of water, you can put hot. Just to give a source of meat. Oh, but it has its own fat in there. Yes, it has. Gathering. I know in my family, um, we have it on like birthdays, like special gatherings. 
Okay. Perfect. Salt. Is this just normal salt? Yes. And how long do we cook it for? Uh, just 50 minutes. Fifty minutes. So, and how long did it boil? 20 to 20, uh, I mean, uh, 4 hours. So four you boil hours it for 4 hours, hours and then this is the easy part? The easy part is to, to cook for 50 minutes. Okay, so this is going to go in there to cook as well and then we're going to show you guys the final dish. So, as you guys can see, we have a beautiful layout done by Chef Daniel. And we have the mohodu, which is over here, and it's like really tender now, it's not tough. And then we have the dombolo. It's nice to taste it. So do we eat it with us? Yes. Okay, so we're going to taste it now. Uh, I'm going to do half, maybe half. Just because I feel like it's a big piece. Aren't you going to? Um, I'm You're just going to watch me? <laughs> okay, okay. It's good. It, it's very good and it's very tender. So this is a three-part series that we're shooting here in Soweto and I'm so excited. Thank you so much for teaching me how to do this. Stay tuned for our next one.